Hey everyone, I'm Raz the Razblay, and please mind the solar eclipse going on in the background, but today we're going to show you part one of how to craft the Ankh Charm here in Terraria for all platforms. And today we'll be looking at the Nazar and the Bazaar. But before we get there, as always, make sure you hit subscribe on the channel. We're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers, and we can't do it without your help, so please, if you're a beginner in this game, hit subscribe right now and ignore what's going on because this comes later. Secondly, hit the bell notification so you know when I go live or drop a new video. Number three, make sure you drop a like and comment down below because that's what many people do. And number four, check out the description for a lot of cool links. Now, let's get into it with part one of how to craft the Ankh Charm. All right, so here we are at the dungeon, and first we're going to talk about the Nazar, because this is where we got to be to get our hands on one. So, the Nazar, according to the wiki, the Nazar is a post skeletron accessory that grants immunity to the cursed above. It has a 1 in 100 chance, or 1 in 50 chance in expert or master mode, to drop from cursed skulls, giant cursed skulls, cursed hammers, enchanted swords, and crimson axes. Now, the giant cursed skull... The Cursed Hammer, Enchanted Swords, and Crimson Axes are not what we're worrying about today. What we're worrying about is the Cursed Skull, because the easiest way to get your hands on a Nazar is to do this pre-hard mode. You go into the dungeon, you hang out, you spawn some stuff, or you wait for some stuff to spawn, you attack it, you get the drop. Got that? Good. But before you go into the dungeon, please, dear God, don't just walk in there. You see the Cursed Old Man right here? Talk to him, curse, there you go, get rid of Skeletron, and now you can go into the dungeon, because like it says, it is a post-Skeletron accessory, which means you got to beat Skeletron first, if you don't beat Skeletron, and you go into the dungeon, a Guardian will get its hands on you, and you'll be toast. So, now that we've defeated Skeletron, let's get into the dungeon, we'll find a good spot, and I'll show you how to set up. All right, so here we are deep in the heart of the dungeon, and now we need to set ourselves up a little farm. A little AFK farm slash arena slash whatever you want to call it. So what you're going to need first is a water kettle. As you can see there, it increases monster spawn rate, and that's that thing right there. So if you don't have one right now, if you don't have one set up in your little area that you want to have for your little yeah, Nazar spawning land, go like that, break that area right there, walk on down, you head on down to your arena that you have because that water kettle can come with you. Go this way, perfect, there we go, and walk over here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go over this way. You take your water candle, get down over here. There we go. I have set up a little bit of a platform there just to kind of not fall in the Wah! don't land on the spikes. So you want a kind of a wide open area so that way more things can spawn without really getting trapped. So this is a good spot here. We're going to take a table. We're going to put it down. We're going to take a water candle. Put that right there, and there we go. Because like I said, water candle will help mobs and critters spawn more often. And the more things that spawn, the more likely you are to get in the czar. Got that? Good. All right, so now that we've got our water candle set up, we've got it on our table here. I got a couple of sentries. I got my minions here, so that way they can take care of stuff for me. You will have a lot less advanced stuff, so maybe you'll have Da Vinci or maybe some flinks. If you're not a summoner, you can always use melee or range or anything you want, but I do find that with summons, you can kind of walk away, set up your arena, and just, like you saw right there with the Cursed Skull, they just take care of it for you. So, what we're going to do now, now that we have our water candle and everything else, I know I can walk away. If you can't, just be careful, all right? It, it's not a place to mess around. Depending on what part of the game you're at with the dungeon, it's not overly easy. Also, this blazing wheel right here, these guys can come out of nowhere and get you. So what you want to do is make sure you have some platforms set up, so that way he can't get you. He just kind of goes this way, goes that way, and he leaves. So now, we're going to hang out here, because I don't need to attack anything. We're going to hang out here for a little bit, and see if we can get in the Zard drop. Like I said, it is a 1 in 100 chance to drop from Cursed Skulls, or a 1 in 50 chance if you're an expert, but if you're an expert, why are you watching this? Because if you're playing on an expert, you should know these things already, right? Right, all right, so give me five minutes and we'll see what happens when we come back. All right, so there we go right there. It's a hard Nazar. It was sitting right over in this spot here. So like I said, you just kind of chill out as long as you don't need to move or you got to fight everything, regardless of whatever it is. It's a matter of time at this point. So you just kind of hang out, hope for the best. You see a Cursed Skull. You got a 1 in 100 shot of it dropping. That took me, honestly, I'm going to say a minute and a half. So it wasn't too bad. No, it is RNG, though, so it might drop after 30 seconds. It might drop after... 300 hours. I've, I've, I've had issues like that before. Not with the Nazar, but well, actually, it probably was the Nazar. Maybe the Bazaar. Either way, so there you go. That's your simple basic setup for the Nazar. Now, let's move forward and try out the Bazaar, shall we? Yes. All right, so here we go. I got a Bazaar there, and now it's time to read from the wiki once more. The Bazaar is an accessory that grants a player immunity to the poison debuff. It has a 1 in 100 chance of dropping, or a 1 in 50 in expert mode from Hornets and Moss Hornets, and also Toxic Sludges. But it is much easier to get the Bazaar 
from pre-hard mode dropping from Hornet. So what we're going to do is we're going to get over there, assume we're right around Queen B at this point so we can handle the jungle. You don't want to go in too early. The jungle can kind of wreck you, much like the dungeon. Make sure you're ready for it, you know, right before you beat the wall of flesh kind of thing so you got all the good stuff. Then you go in there before hard mode. We're going to set up an arena, and we're going to get one to drop. Got it? Good. All right, here we are once again, far too overpowered, but set up as you should be in pre-hard mode to get yourself a bazaar. You're going to want to have a table. You'll have a water candle. Stand next to it. There you go. There's your water candle. Beautiful. The buffs is there. Set up your summonses. You set up your sentries. You can, again, you can have range. You can do melee. You can do mage. Whatever you want to do. I find it's easier to do summoner because you can kind of walk away from it because everything will take care of it for you. So once again, we're going to hang out here. Just kind of do our thing. Matter of fact, I'll probably jump up a little bit more here. And then as things spawn, we'll see what drops. And I'll catch you guys again. And we'll five minutes and yeah so we'll see what happens one more added bonus tip for you if you set it up in an area that's completely wide open like the less cavities you have and corners to go around the better it is because it'll be more of a wide open area for your summons to attack so if you have it down here they might spawn down this way that way every other way but if you're up here and it's kind of more open they're more likely to just walk in and you can take care of them and they're not hidden everywhere got it good now again let's go back to waiting and there we go. There is our hasty bazaar. It finally dropped. I don't want to say it took a hot minute to get everything to drop, but I probably could have had about 50 banners here. So like I said, it all depends on the RNG. You have a 1 in 100 chance every time you see a hornet of a bazaar dropping. So you might get it the first one. You might get it the... 4,852nd one like I did. So there you go. That is how to get yourself a Bazaar. Settle down there. A Bazaar and a Nazar here in Terraria for all platforms. Now, if I helped you out, and I hope I did with part one of the Onk Charm? Onk Charm? What want to call it the Onk Shield? The Onk Charm. The first part of our Onk Charm series. If I helped you out, make sure you hit subscribe right now. Hit the bell notification, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Take care. Ciao.